and our weekend started off a little gray and a little gloomy. We're looking at mainly cloudy skies here across the region, really all throughout the day. And this evening brought a few rain showers to the region as well. Today's high temperature is topping off into the 30s here across the region, even into the low 40s as we head towards northeastern Iowa. Really kind of staying below normal here for this time of the year. That cloud cover not really helping too much here today, but we're still tracking a few rain showers in the area for this evening. Once this last band is out of the area, I'm thinking we're looking to stay mostly dry here for the rest of tonight, but on the cloudier side. So we're still seeing some rain showers kind of stretching from the along Winona towards the cross off towards the east and kind of a band of some heavier rain showers uh, falling from around the Owatonna area up towards Rice County and kind of entering into the Goodhue County area. So we're starting to see a few more showers kind of move towards the Rochester region. Otherwise, once that last band is out, I'm thinking we're going to be on the drier side here for the rest of tonight. But as we kind of take a wide look here, seeing some uh, soggy conditions here kind of stretching uh, across a good chunk here of Minnesota and we'll continue to push towards the east. And as we head to the next couple of days, aside from tonight's scattered showers, we'll look to see some colder but drier conditions for your Sunday and very windy. We do have a wind advisory that will be in effect for tomorrow. And as we transition into the upcoming week, we'll see much drier and some sunnier days ahead as well. So as I just mentioned tonight, really looking to be our main chance to see that precipitation in the area. We'll look to stay dry here uh, throughout the next several days. So that'll be some good news. Kind of dry up a little bit, but still seeing uh, some uh, gloomy conditions here for tonight. Temperatures right now sitting mainly into the upper 30s. Winds are pretty light here at the moment, but definitely seeing some reduced visibility in the area uh, because of that, uh, that rain that we're seeing of creating some uh, reduced visibility with some fog, but also uh, because of that falling rain as well. So as we kind of time things out here for the rest of this evening with your future track, we'll see the this last amount here of that rainfall kind of looking to exit the area by about midnight or so, and those chances for additional precipitation really kind of dropping off after the midnight hour or so. Heading into Sunday morning, we'll still see a few clouds kind of lingering uh, in the area, but as we head towards the midday or so, we'll see more of that cloud cover begin to dissipate and become a little sunnier for the second half of the day. Temperatures though, really only looking to stay into the mid mid 30s. Uh, at best heading into Monday, then we'll see a lot more sunshine as we start off the new week. We'll see temperatures warming into the 40s then uh, for the afternoon highs. A couple clouds possible for the afternoon, but for the most part, we'll look to see a lot more sunshine as we start off the new week. And as I mentioned, we are going to be seeing some very windy conditions for your Sunday. Uh, so we do have a wind advisory that will be in effect at 3 a.m. tomorrow morning, going until 6 p.m. in the evening. We'll look to see sustained winds anywhere from about 15 uh, to 25 miles per hour, and then we'll look to see gusts upwards of about 40 to 40. 45 miles per hour. So now is the time to kind of batten down the hatches a little bit, kind of bring in those garbage cans, those looser uh, light items that could fly around. For tonight, though, temperatures will be into the low 30s. We'll see those scattered showers beginning to taper off here after the midnight hour. Winds tonight will pick up quite a bit out of the northwest around 15 to 20 miles per hour. For tomorrow, then, we'll see a little bit more sunshine for the afternoon, but definitely a cold and windy day. We'll see highs mainly topping off into about the mid 30s at best with those winds gusting upwards of 40 to 45 miles per hour. That wind advisory will be in effect as well. Your extended forecast showing brighter days ahead as we head into the new week. We'll see that some ups and downs uh, when it comes to those temperatures kind of bouncing from the mid 30s to the low 40s. Thursday looking to be our warmest day of the week with highs into the low 50s, but then we'll be back into the 40s as we head towards next weekend. Yeah, that 51 is looking pretty good, mm -hmm. but we got the we got the roller coaster a bit. A little the bit. Sunshine helps though. It sure does. Boost morale, all that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you, Sarah. We'll just ahead.